Okay, uh, let's look at the homework eight, uh, problem number nine, right? And a part A. Uh, so what we want to do is uh, you have uh, two lines given here, right? Then we want to show that uh, these two lines actually intersect. All right, so uh, there are a couple ways you can do it. Uh, so one first way is uh, you can show that the distance. Uh, is equal to zero, right? So if the if the distance is equal to zero, which means that that they intersect each other, all right? Another way is um, maybe finding the point of intersection. Right, and uh, you can you can go either way. Uh, distance uh, we've done uh, you know how to uh, you know we went over how to find the distance between two lines, so you can do that. And I think it's easier way would be the second one. So I'll I'll do the second one. All right. All right. So the from the first equation, I'm gonna I like a parametric equation, so I'm gonna rewrite it into a parametric equation. All right. So x is going to be equal to Right, basically I'm going to set this guy equal to t, right, then solve for x. So it's going to be, uh, let's see, 1 uh, plus 2t, right, y is equal to, right, uh, it's going to be 1t uh, minus 3, so it's a negative 3 plus t, right, and z is going to be equal to, all right, uh, 4 uh, minus 3t. All right, so what I did was I just uh, rewrote this equation into a parametric equation, and then we can just uh, pl plug them in. So uh, it, we can just use uh, the first, uh, first equation right here. All right, so plug them in. So x is 1 plus 2t. And you put that in 1 plus 2t plus 3. Can I write it as a 4 plus 2t over uh, 4? And this must be equal to right, y is uh, negative 3 plus t. You're adding 4, so it's going to be 1 plus t. Right? Over 1. Right? And uh, let's see, since uh, this, uh, both of them has uh, 2 in it, so I'm going to just uh, rewrite this guy as factor out 2. So it's a 2 times 2 plus t, right? That way I can, I can cancel 4, so there's 2 left, and the 2 cancels out. All right, so what you get is going to be, let's see, 2 plus t over 2 is equal to 1 plus t. So I'm going to just go ahead and multiply both sides by 2. All right, and then you have a 2 plus t is equal to, multiply this by 2, it's going to be 2 plus 2t. Two All right, then we can just uh, cancel, all right? Uh, 2 and 2 on both sides and uh, subtract um, t from both sides so you get 0 on the left and 2t minus t is t right which means that the when t equals 0 uh, it's going to be on the first line and the second line at the same time so the in point of intersection is going to be so point of uh, intersection is going to be say x comma y comma z is equal to right so t is zero so it's going to be one comma negative three comma four right 
So this guy is definitely is on the first line because we're coming from that equation, just plug in zero for t, All right? Then let's make sure that, that this actually is on the second line as well. So put x equals one, one plus three, four over four is one. If you plug in y equals negative three, negative three plus four is one over one, which is one. So it gives you the same number. And a four, eight minus four is four over four is one. So uh, at this point, satisfied is on the second line as well, right? So therefore, we found the point of intersection, uh, which means that the, uh, you know, hence, uh, they intersect. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear. Uh, if you want, uh, try the first method, see if you can get the distance equal to zero. All right, that's it.